343 just said that Season 8 is looking to be the final season of the MCC. In a recent blog update, they detailed the future of the MCC as well going into the launch of Halo Infinite and how modding is going to be crucial to the game's health. Do you want to know more? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we just received our first development update of MCC in the year of 2021. The last one we got was back in December of 2020. And this blog update definitely provides a lot of really good information about the MCC, about season eight, what's coming after season eight and the future of MCC going into the launch of Halo Infinite. So I wanted to give you guys a TLDR of everything you need to know about this blog update. So if you guys like these news and informational kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button as it lets me know you wanna see some more content like this if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, well, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So let's just cut to the chase. Let's get into the news that everyone's going to be talking about from this blog update. This sentence in particular is absolutely huge. Here it stated, Season 8's release later this fall will be our last official MCC update of this calendar year. Which then you're probably asking, well, Kevin, how is this the last season when it says of this calendar year? Maybe 2022 has some more seasons. And I think this verbiage is more just kind of leaving it open for 343 to have another season, but effectively this is going to be the last season of MCC because of this. As a studio, it's not ideal to run and continue shipping seasonal updates for two different multiplayer titles concurrently. So while we very much have more updates coming, including more content, fixes, and features, the manner in which they are delivered is expected to shift. Starting next year, we're targeting pivoting away from our current seasonal model and cadence to instead focus on smaller MCC updates that can land when they're ready based on development status and studio roadmap alignment. So yes, it still leaves them open to say make a season nine, but I think effectively what they said that there's probably not gonna be another season to the MCC past season eight. I mean, maybe have a bunch of different development roadmaps kind of line up together to would possibly equate to like what a seasonal content drop would be then they would do that but i don't really expect to see any kind of seasonal updates or anything like that like i think we're gonna get more kind of incremental smaller things like small features or an individual map just like throughout 2022 but you know most people are gonna be playing the halo infinite launch and so 343 recognizes this and i know that they're kind of handing the torch more off to the community rather to themselves when it comes to the development of mcc which we'll get into a little bit later in this video. So what is 343 currently working on right now? Well, they actually mentioned what is actively in development for the MCC. Talking about additional mod support for Halo 2 and Halo 3 is currently in testing. Reach and Halo 4 is in development and looking to have support for Steam Workshop, which is gonna be massive, which I'll get into later in this video. And just so we're all on the same page, we have view model adjustments coming for all games, Steam account linking, PC file share, custom game browsers coming in, which is bringing in CE and Halo 3 for the custom game browser, as well as additional filter options, more seasonal content like the armors that we showcase on the channel, as well as more skins, additional accessibility support for like color blindness and also expanded subtitles in develop is currently in development at the moment. A ton of quality of life improvements, guys. We have the Halo 4 Reclaimer lighting adjustments, improved stat tracking for Halo Reach Firefight, Halo 2 Classic Lighting and Cinematic Fixes, Halo 2 Friendly Zealot AI Improvements, Improved Halo 2 Skull Pickup Cues, Halo 2 Classic Texture and Bump Map Fixes to bring it closer to alignment with the original Xbox, much like we had with CE for Season 7, and also found the missing sun for Halo 2, which if you guys don't know, a lot of maps within the multiplayer of Halo 2 are missing the sun for whatever reason, but apparently they found it. One feature that's looking to not come into Season 8, which we actually test flighted, was the finishing game poses that we had, which is actually, I think, a really cool addition, but it looks like you know, things like this and various feedback from the community kind of shows that it looks like it needs a little bit more work before they fully implement it into the game. I'm sure many of you are asking the question, well, didn't they say they were planning to go all the way to season 10? And yes, during the December update in 2020, they expected to have a two month cadence for brand new seasons coming into the MCC. Well, with the Halo Infinite flighting kind of getting in the way of development as well as some development difficulties, bringing in some features that people really wanted for the MCC. 
some things kind of got delayed and it looks like what they're going to do with season eight is kind of push the, back that release date instead of being two months after season seven to sometime during the fall which is after september 22nd so i'm assuming probably october is when we will we'll see season eight being released in the mcc and honestly that's kind of just how halo mcc has been it's ready when it's ready and it's going to be delayed or it's going to be subject to change because that's kind of the motto of 343 recently with their openness to the communication of the community it also comes with these things where sometimes you need to backtrack on things you mentioned previously like having 10 seasons to the mcc and honestly guys in my opinion I'm okay with having season eight being the last season of the MCC. I'm honestly kind of like done with MCC seasons when I know that we have Halo Infinite coming right around the corner, guys. Gaming has honestly felt kind of almost meaningless not being able to play Halo Infinite because we got that tease with the technical preview. We have another one coming around here at the end of September, which I guarantee I'll be releasing a ton of content about, guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to catch those videos about the Halo Infinite PvP flight for BTB coming in for you guys as well. So what's going to happen with MCC after the launch of Halo Infinite? Well, they actually talk about it within this blog update and they put a big emphasis on modding. Modding is going to be the lifeblood of content and the reason why people come back to the MCC post Halo Infinite launch. And they talk about how they're looking to bring mod tools for Halo 2 and Halo 3 is currently in the works at the moment. Now you're probably asking, well, I don't mod. Why is, should I care about this? Why does Steam Workshop even matter when it comes to MCC? Well, let me show you why. Have you ever played SPV3? It's a mod of CE, which adds brand new maps, brand new areas to explore within the campaign, new weapons, new game mechanics, and a whole lot more. That's just the surface. And also just a complete graphical overhaul. Well, that's gonna be possible possible with mod tools when it comes to like Halo 3 and Halo 2 and eventually with Reach and Halo 4 as well as they mentioned H2A in the MCC as well. But developers of SPV3 even mentioned something SPV3 H3. What would you want to see? So that you can have a complete rework of the Halo 3 campaign. You know I had to tweet and reply about this talking about the cut Guardian level from the campaign and that would be just so cool to see. I'm sure many of you have seen Cursed Halo. It's become a very popular thing within YouTube as well amongst content creators. Things like that are capable because of mod tools, which have just been added into the MCC version of CE, now coming to Halo 2 and Halo 3 very soon, not with Season 8, but eventually very close, probably in early 2022. You can assume that people are going to be wanting to mod content, wanting to create new things and new experiences and kind of tweak Halos, how they would like to see or what see push the limits of what is capable with Halo, like create actual content. Because this is going to be the reason why people, like I said, are going to be jumping back into the MCCs because you're going to have unique aspects you couldn't experience anywhere else. And that's why modding is such a huge thing for Halo and just gaming just in general. Like I mentioned previously, Steam Workshop is looking to be integrated with the MCC as well. Now, why is that super important? Well, mods are honestly kind of difficult or a little bit of a hassle to install. What the workshop does right here, it allows you to install mods at the click of a button. So let's go to a game like Skyrim. There's a ton of workshop items for Skyrim right here. And you can just kind of go through it and click on exactly what you want to add to your game. Like for example, someone created this armor set that you can just add into the game. Click subscribe, it gets added right into your game. Maybe somebody made some graphical updates to Halo 3 or something like that, or like right here you have double grass density to make it a little bit more lively within the world. With the click of a button, just install it directly into your game, making it super user friendly. That's why modding is gonna be absolutely massive for the MCC. It's gonna be literally probably the only reason why I would ever hop back to the game after the release of Halo Infinite. So if you guys are new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got all my Halo news and informational videos that we're uploading daily about. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.